Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the mini bike. So when you find this book here, uh, after you've read it, then you'll be able to start putting all the pieces together. Now the first three items here are craftable. I don't think you can find them except for the mini bike chassis here. To make that, you need to have materials in the forge and you'll need clay and iron. So once you have enough in your input here, you can just smelt one of those, wait the two minutes, and you'll be ready for that. Now the other two items, to make the mini bike handlebars there, first you'll need to read the handlebar schematic, and then you'll need these items here, duct tape, leather, and short iron pipe and you'll be able to find it here by typing in handlebars. So then you can make one of those. And after you've made the handlebars, then you need to grab these items. So a headlight scrap cable, which you can see in the video. I'll put a link right there. And duct tape and short iron pipes. Once you have those, you can craft yourself the mini bike handlebars. And then, to make the seat, you'll need duct tape, leather, cotton, and short iron pipes. Now, cotton can be found in the forest or the savanna biomes. I'm pretty sure those are the only ones. So once you have all of these, also, you can find leather by pulling apart these cars with the wrench, as I showed in one of the other videos there. Or if you got lucky and found this book, you can make it with the animal hides. I don't have any with me today. So once you have those items, then you would just go here and you can type in seat and it'll show up there. So once you have that, the next items can only be found. So the small engine and the car battery can both be found by searching the car. I believe you can still find the engine by searching and also by pulling the car apart with the wrench. You can also find the battery and the padlock, which is an optional item on the mini bike. You can find those in garage storage, but you'll find them in cars as well. So once you've found yourself those items there, you still need the mini bike wheels. And they're found by just attacking tires on the ground here. To pick up the tires, you can attack it with either the axe or the pickaxe. Either way works. Uh, but if you shoot it, it won't give you the tires. And as far as I know for Alpha 13 here, Every time you destroy a tire, you will get it, as long as you attack it with a tool. And now, these two items are optional. The padlock is really only good if you're sharing the world with somebody. It allows you to lock your mini bike. I think it is still indestructible, but I could be wrong about that. The developers said that it was uh, until things got fixed. So. And the shopping basket, I usually find them in like working stiff tools and pretty much points of interest. All points of interest carry it, except for the born and noble. So you just find an empty shopping basket and pick it up. And there you go, you got yourself uh, storage for the mini bike. So then once you have all these items here, obviously these two being optional, you'd want to start by placing the chassis anywhere. Now it's kind of buggy. Uh, if you notice, it'll place it on my head right there. So just be mindful of where you put it. You just put it down by right clicking it and it drops some cobweb for some reason. So once you put the chassis down, you'll be able to start putting in all the pieces. Now you can either drag it and put it there or you can press your left shift button and just click on the items to put in. Now all of these items are required in order to run the mini bike and 
I recommend putting the shopping basket in because it gives you a lot of extra inventory space. And then the padlock if you want. So. When it's not complete, you'll only see this option here, and that's just to go back into this menu. Once you've completed your mini bike, you can put a passcode if you're in a multiplayer world, or you can lock it or unlock it. And check out the horn, which it doesn't have a sound right now. And this top button here is to ride it. Now, it is pretty buggy at the moment uh, it's got a lot of extra sounds and it every time you ride over a block it sounds like you're hitting the block but if you have a big world and you have a lot of places to go it's still playable you can still ride it so it's not buggy to the point where you're not able to do anything with it and I put away my fuel for some stupid reason now the mini bike takes quite a bit of fuel so when you first build it, it's not going to have any gas in it at all. So you would just go to this option here. It takes 250 fuel for 25%, as you can see there. And as you notice, the sound kind of overruns even when you get off the bike for a couple of seconds there. But it's still manageable. So you just want to fill it up here. And after that, you're able to ride around. And one other thing about the mini bike is if you ever want to take it apart, you can just grab, or you used to be able to grab the mini bike chassis, but you can just shift click all your items and grab it with this little hand icon there. And there you go, it's back in your inventory. Also another thing is the zombies don't really attack it, or at least that's how it was in 12.5. I'll have to do a little bit more testing to see if they attack the mini bike now. So if you're going around and looting, usually I just jump off the mini bike, go and loot things, and then jump back on and ride around, and everything's good. There you go. That's how you make the mini bike. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If it helps you out, leave a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome tutorials daily. Bye bye.